voice. Perhaps to you just sounds uttered by mouth, but to us, voice means something more. The expression of all we live and fight for, the core of meaning, it's actionable dreaming, putting words to feelings that seem unexplainable. It's the courage to ask for the unattainable, it's the strength to talk, to not cower, voice is power. So what happens to those who don't get the chance to voice their stories, those who at a glance are stripped of their voice box and not given the choice to speak up and make noise deemed too young to voice? And what if I told you that someone saw the value in our voices and finally took the youth off mute and listened and soon realised what we do is needed to move onwards? And inwards, I'll tell you of a seed that was planted a few years prior. Just a group of young people with passion and fire who through conversation and dedication grew into the groundbreaking tree of creation and with patience nurtured the fruits of collaboration. It's amazing. What can come from connecting? Young people from all backgrounds and intersections coming together over a shared interest in putting an end to the constant neglecting of our voice this organisation's accepting, and opened up doors to the rooms we weren't letting, not to mention inventing systems that are protecting our futures. See, £10 million, something I ain't never touched. Massive responsibility given to us, staff members and carers you can actually trust. When we were never given much, it's nice to feel like enough, plus. My journey with the fund has been nothing less than educational. Whether vocational, training or more conversational. Project visits one day, interviews the next, reading applications and eating the best food at Oasis. Joining with a blank canvas and leaving with a collage populated of people, places and projects. Passion, pride and progress. This isn't a little youth project, it's a system change. Changing the way things have been done for days, years. Confronting fears, grabbing the wheels and choosing to steer in new directions. Trying and testing, rewriting the message and it works. But don't take it from me. But from the direct quotes from the beneficiaries, they say, it's been really empowering. It's created young leaders. It's been nothing like any other grant they've had before. Clearly, an impact. In fact, more than that, I see the huge ripple effects both inside and out, development being paramount, partnerships being found. But what I want to shout about is how in a time where the world can feel unkind and nothing seems to go to plan, through the power of young people's minds, our futures in safe hands. Voice. Without it, we wouldn't be celebrating. Without our interrogation and braveness to question, without bringing our stories, experiences and perceptions, I must highlight the importance of representing not just young people but communities, bridging the gap between you and me. I fluently speak the mother tongue of my culture and I'll teach it so we can speak it to each other and don't shy from adaptation, integration or scrutiny. Diversity is key, it starts with community. So let's continually build to be embedded both grassroots and institutionally. Yes, we've left a legacy, but the work isn't done yet. What's next? I ask, what's next? We've had lasting effects, but there's still people out there who silence our pleads. So I use this platform to share our journeys and invite you to pledge that youth voice is a need.